Well, we just made the trek out onto a new body of water. We have a good group of guys already spread out and it's a little intimidating oftentimes when you look at a lake and you realize you got to drill a hole and find the fish. The cool thing is technology has made its way between the seasons. So if you're an open water angler or an ice angler, you now have access to really cool sensors. This happens to be Humminbird's Mega 360 imaging. If you're an enthusiast bass or walleye angler, open water fisherman, you may be familiar with the technology and it does what its name implies, allows you to image 360 degrees around you. What that allows me to do is drill a hole and get a good sense of structure, cover, and fish from a single location. It's a big deal for efficiency. And on ice, I'm telling you what, man, you're gonna find and catch more fish a lot more quickly with this. The benefits of Mega360 imaging on ice are threefold. Number one, you can see fish. You can see fish coming within the 360 radius and you can see fish going. That's extremely valuable. Number two, you can see structure. You can understand how the bottom lays out around you and kind of built within structure is bottom composition. We almost equate that to structure as well. That's the density of the bottom. Is it mud? Is it sand? Is it rock? Is it weed? You're getting all that information. Number three, cover. Is there a crib down there? Is there standing timber? Is there a log such as is the case right here? A weed edge, big boulders, small boulders. All that information lays out around you in pristine clarity. So you're able to understand why fish are on a particular spot and then take that information and go apply it to other parts of the lake establish a pattern, similar to what we do on open water, all on ice. And keep in mind, you're able to gather a lot of information from one hole. I happen to be set to a range of 60 feet right now, which is an effective area of 120 feet around me. So that's a huge time saving on ice, all from a single hole location. I'm not having to Swiss cheese an entire area to know what's going on down there. So what's the big benefit of this? You're getting a ton of situational awareness from just one hole. You never had that information before. Being able to look out a good deal, 360 degrees around you, simply means you gotta work a lot less hard to uh, develop a picture of what's happening on any given day. From a use application, again, 360 is as simple as putting the pod down the hole and letting that screen develop and show you what's around you. Fish, structure, cover. This is really relevant whether you're a wheelhouse angler and want to set your fish house up on the best possible spot, might be a portable angler. If you're a run and gun angler and you're on a new body of water that you simply don't know what's going on, it's pretty easy to grab the whole package here and head to hole the hole. And another scenario is, as with ice fishing, there's community holes. They're just flat out good spots year in, year out. So you might have a 20 acre area and have multiple schools of fish, but those fish are constantly on the move. That's one thing Mega Live and Mega 360 has shown us is that fish move a lot more than we ever thought before. So it's also a really good practice to just set this up in the middle of a group of anglers. Let that screen just do its work passively. You don't have to do anything. And then anglers will just come in and look at it and say, all right, fish are at 10 o'clock. Yeah, I stopped catching. Where are they before I go to, go to another hole? They're at three o'clock. So it really works well in that scenario too on known good spots. So as I'm sitting on the hole right now, you're gonna notice a few things alignment wise. If you see this handle, and if you were to look at the arrow on the top of this precision antenna, and if you were able to look at the transducer, you would see that all those three things are in line. When they're pointed in the same direction, and I align my screen such as this, where north or 12 o'clock is straight ahead, that helps me establish my clock orientation. 12 o'clock here, arrow's pointing there. All right, well, there's my three o'clock. Directly behind me is my six o'clock, nine o'clock to my left, and noon. It's that information that helps us determine direction. But then we also have distance. I'll run my range, I'm at 60 feet now, but I'll run it out to even 120 feet sometimes, depending on the bottom composition and the structure and to get good returns. I set these range rings to an interval that works for me right now. At 60 feet, I have my range ring set to 15, 15, 30, 45, 60. 
I can then determine the distance that I need to travel to get to the fish. Another really useful function here with the precision antenna is the ability to simply toggle over. If you look at this spot right here, you'll see that there's a log about 30 feet out at my two o'clock position. I'm just gonna scroll over there, hit mark, mark, boom, I got a waypoint and it's GPS reference. So I can return to that spot, open water. I can walk over to that spot right now. I can come back in two weeks and walk over to that log. That's super valuable. And we have some bites where we live where there's isolated brush piles and timber out on otherwise featureless basins. Mega crappie bluegill magnets in the winter months and they're hard to find. 360 has been an awesome tool to find that cover, but then to return to that cover because I have GPS built into this head unit as well. So geo reference waypoints all the way around me, easy to walk to the prime spots and return to those prime spots at a later date and time. And there's a good percentage of ice anglers that do like the comfort of ice shelters. Portable ice shelters have come a long way in way of comfort and conveniences. And then the wheelhouse revolution. I mean, you see these things all over. A lot of guys use them as mobile hunting shacks. And then during the hard water season, they bring them out to the lakes and set up and get comfortable. It's quite a bit of work putting those down. And you want to be strategic on where you place your fish house, whether it is that portable or a permanent house. And the 360 is an absolutely vital tool. You know, while I often relate to little rock piles or bottom composition changes, no other imaging technology provides you that information like 360 imaging. So you're gonna be a lot more efficient in your work by putting that down, getting a lay of the land, seeing the fish, seeing the structure, seeing the cover, dropping a waypoint, and putting that house down once on a prime spot. And if you already have Humminbird Mega 360 for open water, Humminbird offers the proper conversion and adapter kit so you can put it to work on ice. So it's a huge time savings. You don't have to work nearly as hard. You get way more information and you make way smarter decisions to help you find and stay on fish. There we go. Ryan's spotting them, putting us on them. 